giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll see him alone. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. Make sure the others get the message. <laughs> don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to me, shit. Hey there. So, your gauge is Liver Pet Project. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet, you killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss, but that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for. Someone who's not afraid to get blood on their hands and make some real changes around here. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I'll think about it. Of course. Just remember to think about it like this. How much do you value your life? Then, when you realize just how much, there's no shortage of work around here. So, if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Tell those freaks to stick to their camp. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke, so she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she was perfect.
Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. And what's that? Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. And you want to explain to me why, exactly, I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here, and would make valuable allies, so long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best.
William normally had me frisk visitors. You get special. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Yeah. Caught one of the traders stealing food. Turned him. Hey. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Mason target yeah. feathered the then last Yeah, I got office. in a little extra target it's practice. It's, it's, it's hey. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Gotta chase what you wanna catch. Closer look at you. Not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. You gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss for now, but I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining the gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. You might have to. You turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. We thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He was laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good, but that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft, wanted to take stock in what we achieved. Things could be worse, trust me. I've seen it. No shit, we've all seen it worse. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there, but it ain't the palace of cats we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch, so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Ain't nothing I ain't already told you. I'm not Coulter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack, 
I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. I intend to treat all the gangs equally. Ain't no two things in this world that's truly equal, boss. Everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top, and one on the bottom. It's a simple law of nature. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when you built this place? Boss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parts, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. No thanks. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around.
Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up.
for star control are now full for the day. Please speak to a park concierge for additional information.
Excuse me, gentle sir. Are you happy? Truly happy? Some days, yes. Some answer. I can show you the path to true happiness. The path to enlightenment through hubology. It can relieve you of your burdens, help you find the true happiness you so desperately want. It can also unlock the true potential of your mind, giving you great mental powers. What is hubology? Hubology is the science of unlocking the full potential of the human mind. It brings true happiness and peace to those that walk its long path. Dara is much better at explaining this. She's an AHS-9. Come with me and she can answer all your questions. That sounds good. Show me the path to true happiness. If you truly meant what you say, come with me. I will introduce you to the others and you can take your first alignment. This way. Hubology has given me inner peace and expanded my mind. It can do the same for you. Phil does the alignments that rid your body of polluting neurodynes. After we talk to Dara, we should go see him. Dara asked me to bring any mercenary types to her first. You definitely look like you know how to handle yourself. There are six of us right now, but I'm trying to recruit more members like yourself. I've tried talking to the raiders in the Nuka world, Park, but they were not receptive to the potential benefits of Hubology. Dara says we need more people for the next step of her plan. Uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Just forget what I said. brought me a new recruit. Thank you, Cleansed. If you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Hubology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a 